Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on uh, studying masters in Netherlands. So we have been doing short videos about different streams of masters in Netherlands. So in this video, I'm going to talk with Gokul, who is doing masters in civil engineering and geosciences in TU Delft, Netherlands. Thank you very so much, uh, Sambit, uh, for this opportunity. And uh, I am. My name is. Uh, my full name is uh, Gokula Krishnan. And uh, I'm from uh, Chennai, uh, Tamil Nadu, the south, southern part of India. And uh, uh, I study uh, masters in uh, uh, geoengineering, especially. That's uh, the track uh, study track in the Department of uh, Civil Engineering and Geosciences. So I I pursued my bachelor's in civil engineering from Anna University uh, in SSN College of Engineering. Yeah, so uh, I did my uh, bachelor's in civil engineering, as I said. Uh, so during my undergraduate, uh, I had a really interesting opportunity to do a research internship in IIT Madras. Uh, so I worked uh, in the field of uh, geotechnical engineering uh, in civil engineering. So I had a stint of like three months. I worked there as a research intern and uh, that piqued my interest in uh, geotechnical engineering per se. And so I thought, okay, let me pursue a career in uh, research uh, and my maybe even a PhD. So I was thinking about, I was looking for research courses uh, around the world uh, for masters. So specifically I was, as everyone does, uh, I was looking at the rankings of various universities so I didn't want to apply to US because of the lot of uh, problems that has been going there and uh, because of Trump, you know, and also uh, my dad did not want me to go too far and uh, because it takes a lot of time, even flight wise and and the e education cost is also very, very much expensive than other universities. Uh, so I was looking at primarily at Germany and uh, maybe Canada. But uh, I was more into like Germany because I did my uh, during my during my undergraduate I studied German and uh, up to the level of uh, B B one B two yeah B two and then but uh, I didn't know about the neighboring state neighboring country of uh, Netherlands so when I was looking at Netherlands there were some really uh, nice uh, courses especially uh, related to my interest. And this geoengineering I came across in TU Delft and it's really highly ranked. And I thought uh, there was also a senior in uh, in my college uh, who has been studying there. And I contacted him and then that's how I got to know about TU Delft. And yeah, here am I after, after all that. Uh, uh, okay. You should never underestimate the uh, study load of TU Delft. I'm sure that uh, you would definitely agree. <laughs> And uh, I personally, it was also quite difficult uh, to cope up with uh, 15 ECTS in the first quarter. But uh, yeah, like like people say, the practice makes perfect, and uh, you keep on doing it, and then it eventually got better for me. And then I was able to like take more than 20 ECTS in my last quarter, and also do do it successfully. So that's uh, what is. Uh, the the net nature of the study load here. So once you get once you get accustomed to it, uh, you eventually uh, get get successful at it. And uh, so for my masters uh, in coursework, we need to do AC 80 ECTS, uh, including coursework and also internship or an additional thesis. Or there's also one more thing called a multidisciplinary project. So uh, you form a group of students with other streams or study tracks and then work on a project uh, in the Netherlands or abroad for a span of like uh, three months, three to four months. And But that is not possible right now uh, due to Corona. But internships also are a bit difficult right now. But I'm doing a, a, a additional thesis, uh, which is uh, worth 10, 10 ECTS. And yeah, that's it about uh, the study load and ECTS. So when it comes to internship opportunities, there is basically, especially for uh, the Department of uh, Civil Engineering and Geosciences, 
there are a lot of uh, opportunities uh, because there are a lot of companies, especially because uh, there are a lot of uh, dredging companies, offshore companies, and a lot, lot of civil works companies in the Netherlands who do a lot of projects across the EU and also globally. Uh, because one of the uh, company called Fugro, they they have been doing like dredging works uh, in Mumbai. So that is really cool, you know, a Netherlands company uh, uh, because they have so they have made it. Uh, their own speciality and they have a lot of uh, specific skills that uh, which no one else uh, around the world has equipment wise and uh, machinery wise and some other uh, companies I would like to mention is called one is called Boscalis which is also a, a world uh, a multinational company and some other notable companies I would say is uh, uh, Royal Haskoning DHV and uh, maybe uh, all C's, ACOM, etc. There are a lot of companies. You can just, if you just type civil engineering companies Netherlands in LinkedIn, you would get come across a lot of companies. So, how do you apply to an internship? So, regarding that, uh, I think TRELF has uh, a lot of, does a lot of help to you. Uh, for example, uh, the study associations in the department, they organize a lot of lunch lectures and company presentations where the companies themselves, you know, present uh, the internship and graduation thesis op opportunities also. So you can, the important thing, you know, is to create a good network, uh, participate in all these activities and uh, maintain a good LinkedIn profile and uh, follow up on the company presentations, email them and ask them about opportunities. So the important thing is to be proactive and uh, reach out to those people who are uh, making some presentations or uh, having some lectures. You know, industry lectures also take place a lot. And uh, so how did I apply? Uh, so I did not really apply to a lot of uh, internships because uh, I was I was more interested in the research aspect. So uh, I I mostly uh, approach my professors to know about uh, research projects. But I think that is also a good way to actually get an internship. So if you need to, uh, so either way, if you're going to do an internship, you need a supervisor from your, uh, from the university. So it's better to approach uh, professors who have industry connections. They will already have some uh, internship opportunities for you. So that is also a good way to uh, go on because it's more easier and uh, it's more flexible also, I would say. But of course, LinkedIn is the place I would I would say it's, it's a go to because uh, some of the I had a lecture from a recruitment company. Uh, they, they, the first important thing they said is like have a really good uh, LinkedIn profile with your with a professional photo and a detailed explanation of all the uh, experiences that you have. So that should do it. Regarding the uh, grading and teaching experience, uh, I would say that, uh, you know, as Steve Elft is a world uh, class uh, uh, institution and the teacher, the, the professors are also really brilliant. And the important thing that I would like to emphasize is that uh, they are really friendly, helpful, and uh, more approachable than other professors in India would be. I would say personally, because I have not gone to, uh, I have only studied a bachelor's. So, uh, so, but but yeah, I feel that uh, they are more direct, approachable, and friendly here. And uh, also, one more thing I would like to uh, highlight is that uh, professors here are really addressed uh, very informally. And like, for example, I would like to say an example, one of my courses, uh, you know, the professor sent us an invite to a course completion party in the campus bar, uh, which we have for our department. There's a little bar here. So, so the professor sent us an invite and we were joining him. It was super chill and we had a lot of fun, you know, discussing uh, what, where can we uh, use this course? For example, can we do a internship? 
based on this course and that was really uh, wonderful i would say that that was an important uh, aspect that i like about udelf and uh, the grading is really really straightforward so it's basically the more work, the more work you do the uh, higher the grade you get and i can personally watch for this because i know the some some courses i have not really done a lot of work I have, because i'm not really interested in it it's like a mandatory course but you have to do it but uh, some courses which i i'm really interested in is it really interested in and i put in work consistently and you know it was really fun doing the course and i got a really high grade and it's not like you can't get a really high grade you can you need to be more consistent about it yeah okay that's it about and the okay. course curriculum maybe i would uh, talk a little bit on mm-hmm. that so especially in civil engineering i would say it's uh, really wonderful because uh, there are there are not many uh, institutions in the world that offers really specialized tracks and courses uh, as in the branch of civil engineering for example if you take my track which is geoengineering uh, there is not a lot of courses around the world even mit does not have a really specified Uh, course uh, for geotechnical engineering in itself and also i would say that uh, the curriculum is much closely oriented to uh, you know current practices and research uh, which i would emphasize with an example that in one of my courses we had to do an assignment uh, that is based on a phd project so in that phd project uh, it was a, there was a code snippet which we were given and we were uh, asked to work on it as a as a group so that was really cool and okay. about uh, the group work maybe yeah. Uh, yeah so so this group work tudelf is all about group work so every course you take definitely you would like you would have to do one or two uh, group assignment in every quarter so it's basically like uh you make friends uh, through group works and which is really awesome because you know you can uh, build your uh, teamwork skills and all leadership skills and you can also learn better because uh, you know you're actively involved in critical uh, thinking and discussion with your peers so so that's what is more much more important for learning i would say If you like this video then don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out and don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you have not yet and till next video series on masters phd and bachelors in netherlands goodbye from netherlands